credits say, it's time again for Skippy Low Looks of Hollywood. It's with pleasure we today introduce you to Margaret Avery, the Oscar-nominated actress for her role as Suge in The Color Purple. Also with us is David Carradine, star of Americana, bound for glory and the cult favorite, Kung Fu. Rounding out our guest list is the youngest addition to the Carradine acting clan. She is David's daughter, Kansas Carradine. And now, here's your man of the half hour, Skippy Low. David Carradine, what is that around your neck? I, is that oh, your... I, I just put From it Americana, this. the movie you did? Uh, no. Uh, you know, I can't even remember where I got this from. Uh-huh. But it's just sort of pretty, and I wear it. It's supposed to have some kind of uh, significance or power. Or and feeling. Like I love it. I, I think it's great. I thought you were going to yeah. say your daughter made it. <laughs> I love it. I think uh. it's great. Hi, Avery. Margaret Avery. Well, hello. Skippy. Well, you jumped right in. <laughs> okay, Avery. How are you, darling? You look lovely, all in red. You look so pretty. Well, thank you. It's left over from the festive feelings. Well, the Cavani Awards are coming again. Yeah. My God, do you have any feelings? Last lovely. year, you were shaking this time. And nominated for the Oscar? Sweetheart, it was two, two years, years ago. ago. Well, I, that, well, I <laughs> know the, that. How the time but fast really goes. Yeah. Yeah. Was it? David. Kung Fu. I mean... Kung Fu to you, too. I know, but Kung Fu, I mean, you know, it, uh, those things, I mean, does it always, people just constantly just remember David Carradine Kung Fu? I mean, you've done hundreds and hundreds of movies. Well, actually, 39, I think. 39? Maybe Come 40. on, David. Yeah. Um, no, actually, um, certainly there's a lot of Kung Fu stuff, but uh, there's a whole bunch of people that are really more interested in the other and, stuff. Right. Tell me, what is new and exciting in David Carradine's life right now? Let's get right to it. Oh, well, you just God, the list is endless. Uh, probably the hottest thing that just happened was uh, I made a movie in Mexico called Open Fire, mm -hmm. which uh, is, is Kansas Carradine's debut. That's uh, my This is next to me. Hi, Kansas. Kid. Hi, how are you? Good. Isn't she adorable? Holy shit, Kansas. I'm nine. Nine? Mm -hmm. You are nine. You're the lovely little lady. Last time I had David on the show was dancing in that movie called. No, that's Kalista. Kalisa? That's my oldest. But I was thing. dancing in it. No, she was dancing well, that's right. in it. You David. were dancing Monahari. in it. Yeah. Of course you were, weren't you? What was the name of that film? Monahari. Monahari. Mm -hmm. did you, you did all those wonderful little dances. Mm -hmm. Who taught you all that? I don't didn't? remember. You don't? I don't remember. How old were you then? At all. Huh. Um, you were six? Maybe. Four, maybe. Four? Maybe four. Yeah. She was wonderful. You don't remember her doing that film? Yeah, I remember it now. Yeah. yeah. I, I, and I also rode in a glitch. wagon. You what? I rode in a wagon. In a wagon? Ah. Tell me, David. I must know right away. The movie you're doing with your daughter right now. Uh-huh. Tell me about it. Well, um, I'm uh, the governor of Wyoming. And I'm visiting uh, uh, South America to visit my daughter, who's on a bus tour of uh -huh. South America. Uh-huh. And while I'm there, uh, she's kidnapped by a band of terrorists, uh -huh. along with all the other kids in the bus. Mm -hmm. And I'm wounded in the thing, and then I have to, I crawl out of bed and go uh, save her. Uh -huh. How's your dad? He's great. He's, he's, um, is, is he working at all? He's doing yeah, he's, uh, he's doing a couple of movies a year, and a certain number of uh, plays, and a lot of voiceovers. He's recording the Bible these days. He is. Yeah. How nice. Isn't it? Carradine, I tell you, he has the arthritis, and how is that doing? Yeah. Is, it's about the same. Is it? It hasn't got any worse, I don't He's think. He's such a nice guy, and he's such a great actor. All the Carradines, aren't they, Mark? Yes, yeah, they're wonderful. I mean, the, how about Keith? What's Keith doing right now? Um, Keith just came back from, uh, well, right now he's doing a movie in Savannah, Georgia. Uh-huh. Uh, it's a movie for television, and he told me the subject matter of it, but oh. it would be hard for me I must congratulate you. Now. Last time I saw you, you weren't married. You got married to your manager That's who handled right. you? Yeah. Gail Jensen. Mm -hmm. Everybody's Just, getting married. Are you married? No. There's no man in your but, life? No, not anything. Really? I mean, anything. A beautiful <laughs> just a, lady. Just, a, just my daughter and a little dog. So you were I, Oh, and now we have a hamster. Ah. <laughs> So you were married, Margaret? Oh, yes. Yes. I've been divorced now about mm, maybe seven years. Margaret Avery, I mean, moving from Oklahoma, child, to San Diego, what happened to Margaret Avery? Tell me. I mean, grew, you grew up in a beautiful city, you uh -huh. know, San Diego. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've been there. Sure. It's very right. clean and 
Wonderful. And um, migrated to Northern California, went to college at University of California, Berkeley, mm -hmm. and then graduated from San Francisco State, taught a couple of years. Teacher. First, first, first second State. grade, you did? Oh. Yeah, in a, a different millennium than uh, you went there, uh -huh. I'm sure of it. So you taught yeah. school? Taught a couple of years and then became really uh, inspired to to go into acting. Ah, but you know what I like? How she got her Screen Actors Guild card, didn't it? <laughs> I love I love when I found out. Are you going to tell this. me that? Yes, tell me about it. The <laughs> dating game, is that right? It was a dating game Listen. years ago. Now when people say it's so difficult to get into the Guild, I think, oh my God, you know. But, but it uh, wasn't done then. I was, I was uh, doing the dating game and filling out the forms and all of that as a contestant. And uh, they said, well, you know, we can't pay you because you're not a member of the Guild. Uh -huh. And I said, what, the Guild, what's that? And they <laughs> said, Screen Actors Guild. And I said, well, how do you become a member? Uh -huh. And so they said, just go down there. And I said, well, okay, if I become a member, will you pay me? <laughs> <laughs> that's and great. that's, that was the story. That's wonderful. David, you've been in show business how many years? How long have you been in show business, David? Um, I guess you would what say I started in 57. 57. What was your first, very first? Well, no, this, you see, this was not professional. It wasn't? No. Uh, it was uh, what they call Little Theater well. uh, in the Bay Area. Mm -hmm. uh, I played Tybalt in Romeo and Juliet uh -huh. in a place called the Golden Hind Play Box. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Golden Hind, I think, was the name of Sir Walter Drake's boat. Both, uh huh. And uh, my father came up to see me. It was a surprise. I didn't know he was going to be in the audience. Uh -huh. And he told me I was okay. Uh huh. And I did a lot of work like that up there. And then I went professional there. I got into a Shakespearean repertory, but using sort of the same kind of skin, a little different. Uh huh. They, uh, I had to be equity. Uh -huh. In order to get in. To get in the union, right. And I, no, to, to get into the play. The play. I had to be Actors' yeah. Equity, which mm -hmm. is the theatrical union. Yes, right. And I told them that I was a member, but I had taken the withdrawal card. And then, so they hired me. And you weren't even a member then. Then I yeah. went to Actors' yeah. Equity, you know, uh -huh. and I said, these people want to hire me, I have to uh -huh. get a card. And then I went back to the, uh, the producers and said, it turns out that I, I, I didn't take the withdrawal card. I thought I had, and I owe a whole lot of dues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I have to have an advance so I can pay these dues, mm -hmm. which is actually the initiation right. fee. And, you know, after the whole thing was over, I really think that both Actors' Equity and the producers knew I was fooling them all the time. <laughs> what was David Carradine's very first movie? Uh, well, it was one day on a picture called Bus Riley's Back in Town, starring... Margaret and Margaret. And Margaret and Michael right. Parks. And Michael Parks, of course. Actually, it was Michael Parks and Anne Margaret. That's right, Michael Parks, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. And Anne Margaret. That was a good movie, though. Michael yeah. didn't like it. Well, I only did one day on it. Oh, William Inge hated it. He was the uh -huh. uh, author of the screenplay, and he took his name off of it. Uh-huh. And the uh, well, movie did not have a <laughs> tremendous... How did Kung Fu come along, David? Tell me, how, what happened? How did you get that role? Well, somebody sent me a script. Uh, actually, Jerry Thorpe, who was the producer-director of the original Kung Fu movie right. and the creator, you could mm -hmm. say, mm -hmm. uh, had seen me in a play in New York called The Royal Hunt of the Sun, where I played the mm -hmm. King of the Incas. Mm -hmm. And I was really great. Excuse me, but I was. Uh -huh. And uh, he remembered it, and he That's wanted okay. that guy uh -huh. to play the part. Robert Hershey, you were married to her? No, Love? not Weren't really. You? Really? No, we lived together for seven years. Weren't married? We never married. But you had a child? Right? Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, what Tom. Was Tom. Is his name. But tell me something about Robert Hershey. I think she's going to be a... Academy Award nominee this year. I really think so. I hope yeah, so. I just wonder what took everybody so long so, to get around to. Good actors. Isn't that the truth? I mean, yeah. we, we always wonder, I mean, how can they say overnight success when we've been out here? Uh-huh. There is no overnight and, success, I mean, is there? For years. Once in yeah. a while, sure. But, you know, a football player that... <laughs> Margaret Avery says didn't have a, a tough star. time at the beginning. You were, I mean, you were battling around, Margaret. You're a singer. You work clubs. You did a things before. Well, I started out as a singer because you, because my my goal, my mm -hmm. real goal, was doing stage musical comedy. So my training was for 
singing on stage. stage of course. But uh, at the time I was living in San Francisco and every play that came to San Francisco right. was already cast from New York. Uh -huh. So I started uh, my professional experience became as a singer first because I started singing with little groups, mm -hmm. moonlighting as uh -huh. I was teaching you might say. Oh, interesting. Re grading report cards and all that in the John in the breaks of, of, uh, so where were you singing? In, in San Francisco in Little Clubs? In the, in the little uh, Oakland and all that? Uh, suburban, suburban areas, uh -huh. you know, all around. And, and uh, it was great experience. Uh -huh. However, I got so far away from acting. I found myself in Vegas, and then I thought, well, gee, what am I going to do? I'm not pursuing acting. And I went to New York and was just, uh, if you grew up in San Diego, yes. You, you can't go right to New York. I mean, why can't you, Mark? I mean, why can't you? Uh, That's where I'll it's tell all you what happened coming. to me. I was determined. I, I was determined to go to the uh, Conservatory Theater, uh, right. I think the American Conservator Conservatory Theater of Arts, and I was going to just get, uh, do the do the audition there right. and find housing and all of this business. Uh -huh. Went to a hotel. A lot of stewardesses stay there. I won't even mention yes, which one it right. is. The first night there, I had someone to come into my room uh -huh. and go through my purse. Fortunately, I didn't scream. Mm -hmm. Okay. The two nights before, uh, this happened to a uh -huh. to a stewardess mm -hmm. there. She screamed and was beat to a pulp. Okay. I checked out of there. Went to uh, live with uh, mm -hmm. some other stewardesses. Mm -hmm through a friend, and uh, you, the typical New York apartment, they charge a fortune, it, it was a fortune to me, I think it was like uh -huh. seven or eight hundred dollars a month, so one little one bedroom. Room, right? yes, right. We're on the ninth floor, uh -huh. my second night there, mm -hmm. and the, a little sniper goes right through, I, I mean see. a bullet. Really? Mm -hmm. We're on the ninth floor of this mm -hmm. secured building. Yes. I said, Lord, just let me get home and <laughs> I will not. <laughs> Come back to the city. Well, I, <laughs> I, it scared me. It scared I me. Mean, so what now? <coughs> now I think I could handle it. Okay. But it, things always happen for a reason. <coughs> you did commercials. I, you did a commercial. That's I, the way I started commercials? out. Commercials. Tell did, me about the commercial. I love that commercial I, you did. The which I did a lot, a lot of, of commercials. commercials. As a matter of fact, that that afforded me to no longer teach during teach. the day because after I moved to Los mm -hmm. Angeles, mm -hmm. I started substitute teaching. Mm -hmm willing to go to any school, any area, uh -huh. any grade, mm -hmm. so that I could uh, yes. get called every day. Yes, yes, yes. I had no seniority. But I started doing uh, commercials. And you know, when, when I first signed uh -huh. with my commercial uh -huh. agent, they didn't want to take me because there were no blacks doing commercials and they felt it was a waste of time. Is it open now? I mean, for blacks? Well, it's, well, it's, changed. it's changed, it's changed a lot. Sure. Actresses, there's any good scripts out there for black actresses, Margaret? You're talking about for commercials? No, just for movies. Because for commercials, commercials, I notice now that I oh, see an yeah. awful lot of young people, uh, like 19, 20, it uh -huh. seems to be much uh -huh. more open. Open. Yes. And I see pretty <coughs> women, uh -huh. pretty women. Because yes. when I was doing commercials, you had to look dowdy, Down. you had to look the way whoever says, says. you should look. Uh -huh. Uh, uh, I guess they make this decision on Wall Street Color or purple. something. I want to get right away. How okay, what do I? What how did, how did I do you it? get that? How did it you was? I uh, I I feel that it was just uh, God's will. That's all I can say. You because because at that point in my life, yes. I had given up acting. I couldn't buy an acting job. Uh -huh. I had gone back to singing. Mm -hmm. Was out of the country singing. Came back to do my taxes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, I had three or four rival actresses mm -hmm. call me during mm -hmm. this time. Yes. Well, they would never call me in the past, but yes. to tell me about Color Purple, that I should read the mm -hmm. book and I mm -hmm. should talk to my agents about it. They had submitted me, my agents told me, they don't want to see you, mm -hmm. they don't mm -hmm. feel you're right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wrote a letter to the casting director, dear, dear, sweet. Ruben Cannon, I must say, give him credit for this because on the basis of my writing, imploring him to please see me, mm -hmm. he did see me, mm -hmm. 
And then uh, he proceeded to tell me how wrong I was uh -huh. for the role. I begged him and said, please, 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 uh -huh. let me read. Uh -huh. So I think the poor man wanted to go home. It was a Friday evening late. Uh -huh. His secretary kept coming uh -huh. and giving us a glare. When am I yes, going to yes. get to home? Uh, he said, here, take these pages. You come, come back next it. week. Uh -huh. And I did come back the following week. And, uh -huh. and just the grace of God, he said, mm -hmm. Margaret, I still don't believe you're right for the role. He didn't believe but that. But he says the reading is so good, the work is so good, uh -huh. I think it should be seen. And from his point of view, from what they, probably yes. the producers uh -huh. or Stephen or whoever, had said they had in mind yes. for the role, I wasn't. I see. But he took the shot, gave uh -huh. me a shot, uh -huh. and said, uh, let's put it on tape. Uh -huh. And after about three or four days, uh -huh. My agent called, who couldn't get me the interview uh -huh. at that time, and said, Steven Spielberg wants to see you. Uh -huh. That's and great. I did another one of these. Well, you were <laughs> nominated, believe me. Yeah. You love Color Purple. You saw it, didn't you? Yeah, I saw you it did. on HBO. You saw it on HBO, it really and good. you're really good, huh? Mm -hmm. Tell me something, darling. Working with your daddy. Mm -hmm. Fun? Tell it's me. Very fun. Like, it's really fun. Like what? Tell me. Working with, is he a tough well, director or a tough? Tell me about no, it. No, well, I didn't really remember anything from Monahari, but... Um, but the women you just got through doing. Yeah, it was really fun because um, I, knew, I knew my dad and I knew, I knew what he was like. What is David Carradine really like? <laughs> Would you share it with <laughs> us? Come on. Well, what is he really like? What do you mean? Well, you know, what, what, what's the funny thing around the house does David Carradine do? I mean, the, could you share some little... Funny <laughs> Go ahead. No. Um, what? For his kung fu audiences out there. Well... Do you like those shows of kung fu? You yeah, they were really good. You're really? Um, David, do you miss doing them, though? Like, um... No. Are you going to be doing any more? Do you think you're going to have a re... Uh, of that character? Yeah, tell me. What do you think? No, I don't think so. Um, I suppose it could happen, but I, um... I have turned my back on Little Grasshopper deliberately put them away in the past. You and, have. Huh? And I've offered the uh, wardrobe to the Smithsonian. What does I David Carradine really want to do right now? I mean, you're directing, you're producing, you're married, you, you keep moving, you travel all the time, you're, in, you're all over the world. Mm -hmm. I, this is the first time I can get you for a long time. You've been running around doing a lot. You mean... You know, I don't even live here anymore. You don't? Where do you yeah. live, David? No, live where do you live, David? Rome. Rome. Rome, Italy, yeah. Oh, it's a great place. Um, what yeah. does David Carradine really want? Well, do? you know, there's short-term goals and long-term goals. Uh, short-term goal would be, you know, get another job, of course. Uh -huh. Keep working. Um, another one. Another. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have a lot of uh, projects in the works, uh, some of my own projects and some uh -huh. other people's projects that uh, we're all trying to put together. Your wife, Gail Jensen, she helps a lot. Mm -hmm. She really does all your PR. She, she reads your scripts for you, or you read them. She helps uh, you. About half and half. Half and half. She's yeah. a busy lady. She really keeps. How many children do you have, David? I have three. Three. And two grandchildren. Uh -huh. So you're going to be Christmas with them this year? Mm -hmm. As many as possible. Really? Sure. David Carradine, looking back, would you do it the same way right now? Looking back at your life. Right now? I don't know if anybody would really do it, it, this, it the same way. Um, well, I would. I wouldn't. Well, I, mean, I, I feel I that things happened to me that uh, uh, I w it wasn't volitional, most of the things I did. I just responded. It's like when I was at San Francisco State, I was a music major. Uh, really? Yeah, and you sing. And I got sidetracked into acting. You get sidetracked into music. Uh -huh. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, I had really no intention of being an actor. I didn't know what that was. I mean, but what do you do? You, do? you, you don't really do anything. Side track? Yeah. I mean, because you went, you were involved with music. Uh, whatever it was at that time, uh -huh. it brought you to the yeah. relation. Yeah, and I was, I was drawn to it. Uh, but uh, you're an artist, so, I mean, that yeah, was the thing well, that was compelling. Like she is going into country music lonely. now. She's changing her whole format of her act. And sh I understand you're... I, I, tell uh, me. Country pop. Country pop. Mm -hmm. That's a difference, I'm sorry. But that's what you do, too, don't you, David? You do country you? pop? Sort of. Sort uh, of, yes. Country rock. Rock. And country uh -huh. pop. And, pop. And he's... And, and he, uh, <laughs> but there's a big blues element in my music. It yeah. It makes you write it your own harder music, David? to define. I write a lot of and it. And your yeah. wife writes, too. Yeah, we write together. 
Ah, the last time you were on my show, yeah, the last time they were on the show, they sang, and uh, Gail, and oh, they were wonderful. They just went, that was a great song you did. How's that record doing there, matter of fact? Well, I don't know what song we did. I don't remember, but it was a great number, but, uh, and it was very, very, it was on a record. Oh, yeah, well, that was either... What is it? Troublemaker. Troublemaker. That's Troublemaker. it. Troublemaker, yeah. honey. That's, That's right. one of my favorites. I understand you did a it's play. One of their favorites. <laughs> Troublemaker. I understand you did a play today. Uh -huh. what, what, what's it all about? Play. Tell me about um, that. Well, it wasn't really a play. It was just a program, a Christmas program that we sang. And we sang, my, my particular classroom and another classroom, uh -huh. sang um, um, A Winter Holiday, uh -huh. Holly Jolly Christmas, and Feliz Navidad. And it was really fun, but in the first song, I played an instrument, and I sort of did something too soon. Ah. And Where do you go to school? I go to school in Valley View Elementary. Ah, that's... How old are you, sir? I'm nine. God, she's big for nine, David. Mm. She's just big enough. Is she really? Yeah. But everyone's big at Carradine's. They're all big. They're all tall and yeah. big. Your, your brother's tall, too, isn't he, uh, Keith? Yeah, Keith is tall. Uh, yeah. Tom, my 15-year-old, uh -huh. is... Uh, uh, he can't wear my shoes anymore. They're too big for him, and he's now. What's about Tom? Half do? An what inch. does Tom do? Fifteen now. He goes, goes to school. To school. Yeah. He's not going to get into the business. Or is he going to be another Carradine? I don't think he's going to get into the business. No, he's he's uh, giving me no such. You don't force your children. No. You don't tell them. No, that so, is you yeah. shaking your head too, Mark. You have yeah. a child too. You have I, a I don't encourage it. It's a very difficult business, and and and, and I think. Anyone who asks me, how do you get into the business, uh, right. I don't really have an answer because there is no pat answer. Uh -huh. This is a very peculiar, unique business. And what worked for me may not work for you. Right. Uh, you can't go to, to get, and get all kinds of degrees and say, now you're qualified for something. Uh -huh. uh, the only thing that works, I feel, is a burning desire to want to do whatever it is, produce mm -hmm. or act or mm -hmm. all of it, because that's what keeps yes. you driving and, and working towards yes. that. I see. And I think it's only through that desire mm -hmm. can you, do you attract things to happen. David Carradine, you lived here in a long time. You grew up here, let's face it. Yeah, now, well, Hollywood, I was born here. you certainly were. I mean, if anyone really knows Hollywood or or the business. You were you know? born here? Yes, yeah. of course. Yeah, David Hollywood. Carradine was born here in Hollywood. He grew up here. Nobody was born in Los Angeles. Yes. Well, my father, <laughs> father is an actor, so <laughs> it was a, yeah, that's a special know, situation. You know, you really know Hollywood. It's changed yeah, a lot. A lot. Yeah. Good for the worst? What, David? I don't know. It's, I mean. No, I, I don't either. I don't, I don't know if that's really an important aspect of it. It isn't. But it, the change is, I think, part of Hollywood. If it didn't change, it would just turn into a fossil. But the system, the Hollywood system has changed. There's no more Hollywood system, no more studios. Uh, that people, you have to hire yourself a lawyer, and uh, that's it. It's uh, well, it's different. I don't know. Show it's business. all different, certainly. It's, a, the, it's much more of a freelance business than it was. But it's not artistic, in the old It's Hollywood. not artistic. It's not well, like it used to be. I don't really know artistic. if the, it's if a the, business. the old the contract system was particularly artistic. I think there's some. I'm sorry, the color purple is a really artistic movie. They're very They're, far in between. Like well, they always purple. were. Yeah, there were. They always were oh. very far in between. What's we you, will look back on this twenty years from yes, now, and we're sitting there in our rocking chairs. What's some of your favorite? And say that was really the golden age. That's true. <laughs> Why don't they make movies like that anymore? Oh, what are some of your favorite <laughs> films, David Carradine? Well, How it's just it, I guess in a certain sense, everybody's favorite films: uh, The Wizard of Oz. Um, Is that your favorite? Too? Did you like that? Yeah, if you did, I really liked it. Did you really? Yeah, uh -huh. that's the one that comes to mind the quickest. There's a not movie Casablanca. No, there's a movie made well, in Germany uh, uh, called uh, The Devil's General, starring Kurt Jurgens. Uh -huh. It's one of the best movies ever made Wonderful. anywhere. Uh -huh. uh, I have kind of an oddball list like that, mm -hmm. and anything that Spencer Tracy did. Brilliant. Uh, yeah. Yes, wonderful. Yeah. What's some of your favorite ladies in the films well, or theater? You. Do you have any that you looked I up love at? The, I love the music from um, Carousel. Mm -hmm. And every time I see that film, I always kind of laugh, uh, cry at the end. Mm -hmm. But what the, your question was, favorite mm -hmm. ladies. Yeah, that maybe encouraged you to get into the business. I'll tell you, the first, the first beautiful 
woman of color that I saw on, on camera yeah. was uh, Dorothy Dandridge. My favorite. My favorite. And I, she was the first woman that I, I that as a woman of color, because mm -hmm. up until that time, I thought if you wanted to be an actress of, of color, you had to be fat. Mm -hmm. You ha had to be uh, not pretty. Mm -hmm. And when I saw her, I said, oh. What did you see her in? What was the first thing you uh, saw? Island in the Sun with oh, Harry, Harry, Harry Belafonte. Harry Belafonte. It's easier now for the blacks to have. Don't say easier. It, it no. isn't. It isn't easier. No, I, it's, no. Well, it's much, no. e much. I hope it's it is. Still it's a little more open. There's a little more open. More open. But you still haven't, you don't. You still don't have the right scripts, though. You don't have an attractive black woman on screen. No. As a leading lady, we don't have our Meryl Streeps, and we don't have the, you Margaret know, Avery. So we have. You are very beautiful. I we do need, have. I Look need a film to prove that. But you are. Yeah. Well, you'll get Absolutely. it. Absolutely. But you were nominated. I first, was nominated. First big film that shows how great of an actress you were. Am and I, I right, got David? it all stored up, ready to do it again. Huh, you David? do really? Let's I love it. Again. Oh yeah. Let's, let's go right now. <laughs> David, what's oh, stored up for the scripts? What? What's stored up, David? You're, as a matter of fact, you're doing a film right now. You're casting a film. You are casting a film. Uh, or can you so talk to about speak, it? speak, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's up to you if you want to We are trying to put together a film. Uh -huh. And uh, it's not far enough along so I could say oh. literally I'm casting it, though I am talking to people about it. You're going to bring a clip of your film you just got finished with. The, yeah. Uh, I, could, I tried to steal it from the producer. But it was called it um, Open Fire. Open Fire, which you're in, right? right? Yes. Yes, and you play? Um, Gina. Gina. She plays uh, your daughter in it? Yeah, my yeah. daughter. She gets uh, kidnapped or something? Right, and then we, uh, we escape through all these explosions and everything. It was a little... I didn't we almost got ourselves burned up. You, did you really? Yeah. You yes. got your eyebrows sizzled off. Yeah, I lost my eyebrows. He got his eyebrows sizzled off. Did he? Yeah. Well, did you? You got them yeah. okay now, though. Yeah. You're well, fine. Did you save them any? months ago. Huh? Did you? Um, well, yeah, sort of, because I, um, he would have gone earlier. How about the union to protect no, the children? If, if she hadn't been frightened, yeah. I would have, uh, if I wasn't with her, uh -huh. I would have gone ten seconds earlier uh -huh. into the scene, and uh, I would have probably, we would have just been crispy critters. Film. Your film, your new movie. Yeah. What? Blueberry Hill. Blueberry Hill. And, and it's going to be out in uh, February? February. Okay, uh -huh. and it's a it's one of probably the first independent films that was shot in 12 days, in 12? and we're hoping you know that it's going Mark? to really do something for the industry as uh -huh. far as starting. Is it another good acting ability thing that shows um, Margaret Avery? I'm sure it does. It's. <laughs> yeah? Let's put it this way. I think it's a little jewel for 12 days shooting. Really? 12 days. And who's in it, Margaret? Remarkable. Who's in it? Okay, Is now we have Carrie Snodgraff, mm. Jennifer Rubin, myself. Love this woman, Carrie Snodgraff. Oh, yes, she's, she's wonderful. wonderful. Go ahead. She and who else? And uh, Strath Hamilton is the mm -hmm. director. He's mm -hmm. from Australia. Uh -huh. uh, oh, don't, don't That's do right. this to me. <laughs> um, well, it's going to be February. And David, when is yours coming up? When is it coming out? Yeah, you're new in Oh, I would guess maybe in the summer. See, I have actually four unreleased pictures. Four right unreleased yeah. films. Mm. Yeah. And so I don't know exactly when they're going to fall in. You have four. You, why do you keep yeah, so I've been busy, working David? Too much, yeah. I know, you keep busy. That J.L. Jensen just keeps you busy, doesn't she? Well, I mean, are you yeah. happy? You didn't have a honeymoon, I think.